What's going on guys? Vic VP back with another Game Case Arcades video. On this one today, I'm super excited to announce a new player in the virtual pinball or regular pinball world. We're talking about Eric over at Big E Productions. The dude's the machinist. He makes custom side rails and custom lockdown bars. Let's take a closer look. Alright guys, you know the drill. If you're not following me on all the socials, what are you waiting for? Be sure to follow me at Vic underscore VP. If you would have followed me, you would have seen the progress of everything. I'm super excited for this video because today's Sunday, the 16th. I'm shooting this video today, editing it real quick, and I'm going to post it live. So this is actually live today. You can see where I'm at today. And obviously, I say, if you're following me on Instagram, mostly on TikTok, you would have seen exactly where I'm at today. I'm really excited for this because I just got in my custom ordered custom spec everything we're talking about the custom side rails and the custom lockdown bar from eric over at big e productions but before we get into that let me show you real quick what's going on exactly in the shop so if you've been following you would have seen the whole state of these two of three v pins yes they're on their feet pcs are in screens are up led matrices are active and all that these are at great states of the game. This one right here, waiting for a couple of cables to get like the back box and the DMD going. This one right here is about 90% complete. Now this one is the 42 inch C2 OLED going to that crazy guy you all know as Project Canada. He is back with a V pin. This one is awesome. The past couple of nights we've been working on artwork together. We are finally done with artwork. We're gonna send it out to Gulf Coast decals, waiting for the print. I am hoping that by next week, artwork and everything should be done on this. The only thing that I'm missing on this so far is the glass. The real reason again for this video is we're going to talk about the side rails and the lockdown bar. But as you can see, uh, you know, I'm going to give myself a pat on the back. There's a lot of new stuff going on compared to like my, my, my pin and like the first two other pins that I've done. There's a lot of new add-ons and it's, it's, just, it's just awesome to see. Clean wiring, again, wiring is wiring. There's a lot of wires in these things, but keeping the wiring clean was my main number one thing. Then, Project Canada, I'm also gonna give him the kudos to this. I knew I wanted it, especially like if, you know, from like my personal pin to what I've made now, it's like a huge like milestone in my opinion. That's that's how I feel. I'm, kind of, I'm very proud of myself. We'll say it like that. Um, I knew though, when I was going to make these three V pins, I knew definitely I wanted to use glass. Project kind of is like, yo, Vic, I don't want plexi. I want real glass in mine. So I said, that's fine. I have a glazier guy. We'll, we'll talk to him. And I knew the lockdown bar and the side rails was just a must compared to like my personal one. So even Project kind of was like, yo, what are we going to do about the, the lockdown bar? I said, don't worry, dude. I think I got a guy. This one is almost done. We actually spent the last couple of nights finalizing artwork. It is done. I'm gonna send it out to Gulf Coast decals. We're gonna wait for it to come in. Probably in about a week, I would say. I'm hoping that it'll come in. Once the artwork comes in on this, it's, it's, it's go time. Very excited for it. Basically, just got some minor stuff as far as PC-wise to do, but everything else is really set. What's really cool is you can see with these two pins, they're, they're totally different. <laughs> There's some stuff that's the same, but there is a lot of differences. For example, again, this is the 42 inch version. This one right here is the 50 inch. That's running the 50 inch QNED, like my pin. This customer is actually the one that introduced me to a 50 inch QNED. So that's his build right there. Uh, you can also see the back boxes are totally different. Yes, we have 32 inch back glass. Yes, we have 17 inch DMDs. This one's actually a different screen compared to this one, but this right here is mostly the difference. Project Canada went with kind of how I did my Disney cabinet where we have basically two statues and as you can see, there's glowing effects and all that, but he has no beacons and no topper. But I did add beacons to here. It's kind of like an alternative. Instead of having the domes, we'll look at that later on. But as you can see on this one here, this one, Customer wanted beacons. He does have actually the Stern style DMD. This is very cool, very awesome. And he's got the whole LED matrix rings and all that. And he's got the very unique topper. 
that's pretty cool. I have no credit for that. That's a piece that he bought. And as you can see, it's like a magnetized thing that rotates. Very cool. Awesome stuff. With all these add-ons though, it comes a price. Keep that in mind. Plexiglass versus real glass. Lockdown bar versus kind of the... Let me find the piece I had. Found it. So this is the exact one that I have on my pin and the first two pins that I made. This is angled aluminum. Unfortunately, you can't find this exact because again, you can kind of see like a, it's like a, it's got that shiny finish, that you know stainless steel finish. You can't find this at Home Depot or Lowe's. Uh, this one by me, it's called Metropolitan. It's like a mom and pop store. Um, Metropolitan is the only place that had this one specific. But like I said, with these three V pins, I knew I didn't I didn't really want to go that route. The number one thing. If you go back on my videos, the number one thing that people always said about my pin was, damn, that must be brutal on the palms. And I didn't really understand because my, my pin, I actually brushed it. Uh, what's the word? I used like, not a grinder. Um, you kind of call it a grinder, but it had like the, I used a brushing head. And I brushed it down to a smooth slope. Uh, and that was like the number one thing that people kept saying about my pin was like, damn, that's just kind of brutal. Like it's gotta be brutal on your palms. So again, I knew I had to upgrade that for this, and that is where Eric over at Big E Productions come in. Now, if you've been watching my videos, you're a longtime follower, and you've watched the live streams, you've definitely heard me drop Eric's name several times. I wish I had time to go back and like quickly just grab clips of me saying like, Eric, 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 Eric. Okay, if you know me, you've definitely heard me drop the name Eric. So this is what's great with the power of social media. Eric to me is an OG guy. I mean, he's been following me He's been watching me since like way back, right? One day, Eric messages me, he goes, hey, big man, I'm a machinist. I, I probably still today don't know what that means, but he goes, listen, anything metal work, steel work, I could do. And I said, awesome. The number one thing, and this is getting keep in mind how long ago, my, my V pin's almost three years old. Um, you know, number one thing I've said about my V pin is that people always commented about my lockdown bar. I said, dude, you think you can make side rails on lockdown bars? He goes, I haven't done that, but I give it a try. I'm pretty sure I could do it. And I said, bet. I knew, I knew he could do machine work. Once I was gonna get these three lined up, I already told him, I said, dude, I need lockdown bars and side rails. He goes, Vic man, send me dimensions. I'll get that shit done. Now, Eric's not a stranger to the gaming scene though. He is a gamer, he mods stuff. And he actually does more than just machine stuff. The dude does a lot of modding. Apparently he does some stuff with light guns and the coolest thing and I feel bad I take I, I apologize Eric He sent me a Guitar Hero guitar that he modified with LED frets So the frets are 3d printed and every time you press the button it there's an LED inside of it I have to make the promo video on it. So yes, he is also a modder Right down below. I'm gonna put his Instagram and I'm gonna put his email. Those are right now the main two sources as far as the Guitar Hero mod, you can actually find that uh, item in Ray over at RPEG Electronics website. I'll post that down below too. The dude is doing a lot of stuff, but his main living, like his nine to five, his main thing is machine work. And this is cool. Now, real quick disclaimer, because yes, this video is to talk about Eric, Big E Productions. He did not ask me to make a video. This is not a paid promotion. This is not a paid sponsorship. I did not get my stuff for free. I paid for my side rails and the lockdown bar. I'm the type of person where I'm excited and happy and I like what I got. I make a video on it. I'm grateful that I have almost 6,000 subscribers. So thank you guys for joining me on my fun and videos and subscribing. I really appreciate it. I'm the type of person where I want to help Eric out. I want to spread awareness. There are people getting into the V pinball hobby. There are people that are building their own cabinets and one big kind of thing is side rails and lockdown bars. Now to my knowledge, and yes, I'm in several Facebook groups, the main one, which is the V Pinball Builders Group. To my knowledge, there is not many people or companies that are making custom side rails and lockdown bars. I believe like Virtua Pin does it and there is, I don't know his name, I apologize, there is one dude in the V Pinball Facebook group. He is overseas. He's making like lockdown bars. I, I know he does a lot of lockdown bars. I don't know if he does side rails, but I'm gonna call it that he does it. He does that. The only kind of downside though is that he is overseas. 
over here in you know the US you know whenever I hear the word overseas I think of okay shipping is gonna be an extra fee and how long is it gonna take and the risk and all that Eric is in California the timing that he did this was also amazing in my opinion and not to mention he did everything he does have a powder coater too he asked he's like Vic do you want me to like powder coat it I said you could do that he goes yeah Vic I said bet the legs on this is black we're doing black tea molding give me black powder coating and boom he did everything Again, this video is intended to promote Eric. There is a lot of stuff to talk about with Eric and if anything out of this video, I just hope you get awareness that there is somebody in the US that can make custom side rails and custom lockdown bars. So I told Eric, I said, listen, custom is custom. You know, if I send you the dimensions, you know, you can make it to order. He goes, yes, Vic, I need you to send me the dimensions. He goes, I, you gotta send me everything. So that's what I was very happy with. I told him what I needed. I told him the exact width or depth or length of the, the sidewall, how much it goes over the glass just for the side rails and then a separate dimension for the lockdown bar. I'm going to take you in closer because you're going to see that the lockdown bar, especially over glass, is actually longer than the side rails. Every V-pin is different. Every screen is different. Again, I have the 42 inch here. I got the 50 inch there. This one here is the C2 OLED. It is nearly bezel-less except it does have a quarter inch of that um like the tv sensor when i take it to the 50 inch that is an inch and a quarter of a bezel quarter inch to an inch and a quarter right in my eyes the main thing is to make sure that the side rail going over the glass it should cover your tv bezel if you're the type that doesn't go with like the uh led matrix you know you don't really want to see that 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 bezel so again what was really great I told him the dimensions and the dude got it down to the T now what really got me excited when I was giving him the dimensions and everything I made one thing very clear and that is on the side rails and especially the lockdown bar I'm gonna break out mine as you can see there is a hole like every four or five inches I told him I don't want that and he delivered. As you can see, it is clean on the sides. There's only two holes. Cause again, side rails is not really much needed. I only wanted one hole right at the, at the rear and one hole right here where the lockdown bar. Essentially, really, the side rails and the lockdown bar are being held down with four screws. Two screws here and two screws here. So he goes, yeah, Vic, if you need me to pre-drill holes, he could do it. I sent him, I said, dude, I need this hole three inches off the rear and in the middle, and the dude got it. That's like what I'm getting at. When I say custom, this dude can make it custom made to order. And I knew this screw right here, this screw is gonna keep the lockdown bar in place. That's not going anywhere. And the side rail in place. So I killed two birds with one stone with one screw. The big thing also, the lockdown bar, there is no screws in front. It's a little tough because I have this machine here, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring it around. As you can see, I bumped up the brightness on the camera. No screws and no screws. I wanted that clean look. I told him, I was like, I must have that clean look. And you might be able to see it there. This right here over glass, this is a bigger piece than the side rails. Overall, ah, I, I love every bit of it. So now remember, I don't have the glass on this yet. But keep in mind, again, I'm going to bring you where you are right now. You actually see the inside of the cabinet, yes, you can see this. This isn't done, I'll probably just put black electrical tape to cover this. This is the wiring going to the LED matrix. But essentially, this is what was important when it came to giving him the dimensions of the actual lockdown bar. From where you are, I mean, even where you are, if you looked at the backlash, you could see inside, that's gonna happen. But the main thing is the playing area. When I bring you here, I'm actually gonna put you in my hand, you're gonna see this lockdown bar covers perfectly right to the edge of the screen. So the big thing when you are gonna place your order for your lockdown bar and your side rails, I definitely recommend that you have everything kind of set. Let this be the final piece, the final, you know, the cherry on top of your build. But it's just, it's, it's awesome. I'll keep you there. Look, like the, the palm, this is just, this is just how it should be. This feels amazing and not to mention that screw right there, I'm probably gonna swap it out with a flat top screw, but you don't feel it. Like your palm is nowhere near that screw while you're playing. So I, I'm just, I, I'm gonna take you close. Let's take a closer look at the kind of curve he's got here. 
So as you can see, he's got a nice little curve. He has the At Games Legends. It's almost identical to this. It does have the little lip. I told him I didn't need that. He could definitely do that if he wanted that little decorative lip thing that goes on here. But I was like, that's just extra. You don't need that. But as you can see, and in the camera, that's the light. I mean, I don't want to block you, but that's like the light. So it's not like it's scratched here. This is just perfect on the palms. This doesn't hurt my palms. I could definitely gain for a long time with this. Now, like I said, if I'm playing, you can see here, see that? Like I have to really, I'm even above the TV screen and I still don't see the wires here. I have to like dip over to see that. So this is just, this is exactly what I wanted. Again, like I said, play view. That's exactly how I wanted it. Looks right. So real quick, let's talk about the importance of custom sizes because like I said, not every TV screen is built the same. You know, not every cabinet is built the same. You build it how you want it. But this right here again is the 42 inch C2 OLED, okay? The TV sensor is here, but it's very thin. I'm talking a quarter of an inch. So the LED matrix rails that I have here, it covers the TV bezel perfectly. No extra modification needed. It's resting against the sidewall. Perfect, okay? As you can see, the side rail though, I didn't need it to come over the glass too much because it's virtually edge to edge, okay? The big thing also, yes I know, like inside I have to paint the actual wood cut black, so don't worry about that. I'm gonna do that before artwork. But I now wanna take you over to the 50 inch pin. Okay. Now just so you guys can see it, I wanna see if I can just get a animation going. Now, just so you guys can see it in the dark, again, you can see we're virtually edge to edge. You don't see the black bezel of the TV and all that. Let's go to the 50 inch. So now we're at the 50 inch, right? Now check this out, because I could move my, uh, my side rail, my matrix. This right here, right? We have the TV sensor here, and not to mention, we have almost a half of an inch bezel here. At the top, there's not much of a bezel here. I can move this out of the way. You can see the top of the screen here. But the bottom, that's got a big bezel on the bottom and the sensor. This right here is an inch and a quarter of space. When I build my V-pins, that also translates to me needing to put an inch and a quarter on the opposite side. You can see this LED matrix actually sinks in. Like, that's in. I'm not doing it that way. I have to make now a custom bracket so that this matrix sits right on the edge of the TV. As you can see, my finger is here. Same thing with this here. I can't have this matrix to the edge because I have this black here. Now I have to move this matrix up. What does that mean now? I'm just going to move this up a little bit before I break something. There we go. As you can see there, boom, right? What does that mean? I now need my side rail, that one was I think 7 eighths. I need my side rail to come over almost an inch and a half. And again, that's where Eric comes into play. If I don't have that side rail, you're gonna, you see this guy, see that? That's where custom is custom and Eric could do it, man. There's a lot, like I said, when it comes to these V-pins, there's a lot of stuff that is going on to make sure that it looks clean. So now just for kicks, I took out my angle. This angle right here is an inch and a quarter over. Remember, like I said before, this is an inch and a quarter, you know, from here to the inside of the cabin is an inch and a quarter. You now have to add three quarters of an inch for the wood. Now, if I told Eric an inch and a quarter, I'd be screwed. As you can see there, I'm not covering that. I need an inch and a quarter from the inside, like that. That's what I need there. So really it's gonna be about, I would say, an inch and five eighths, I believe is what I told Eric. This way at least it covers not totally the LEDs, but at least over it a little bit. But like I said, not every pinball machine, every V-pin is built correctly. You're gonna get a standard side rail. It might not even work to the way you want it. There you guys have it. Again, Eric over at Big E Productions, I'm gonna name him The Machinist. The dude builds custom. Anything you need, metal work, side rails, lockdown bar, DMDs, be sure to check them out. I'll put in the description down below, I'll put the email, which is probably the best way to communicate with him. I'll put his Instagram, and I will also put the link to his Guitar Hero guitar mod that he offers. Uh, a video that was supposed to be two minutes, five minutes long, obviously I talk a lot. If you got anything out of the video, 
Eric, it's Biggie Productions. I'm very happy with what I got. And also, I probably gave you a little bit of awareness when it came to a lockdown bar and side rails. And basically, you know, even if you buy a standard Stern, Bally, Williams side rail, every dimension counts. Not everything is built the same. Not every TV is built the same. So, you know, you want to cover the unwanted stuff. There you guys have it. I'll see you on the next one. The next one you should see this. Harry Potter themed Project Canada pin will be complete.